Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Part 6. In the previous video, we honestly I, I can't tell you, I'm kinda kinda blanking. Um but the bell is ringing, and that's all that matters. We're supposed to be meeting up with the rest of the gang at the Academy. restaurant this morning. Speak. Academy school trip yeah, we do we did free time for the first time, today. I think is what we did last video mainly, was we got to hang or hang out and talk with Biakia and, and Chickadee. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Yes, but will the day be beautiful? Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at the restaurant. Oh, uh, we say things all the time. You gonna get a shower or are you still scared? There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and looks easy to me, but I've never really felt comfortable showering, so I will spend the rest of the game stinky. Uh, that kind of reminds me, uh, no one, Makoto never showered in Danganronpa 1 either. I mean, I kind of just assumed it was implied, but the fact that Hajime's like, I will never clean myself, <laughs> my uh, sweat, it's my natural musk. <sighs> Not everyone is as strong as Byakuya. I never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but it's more like I was just living my life without even thinking about them at all. Even so, I was still able to live, but this is different. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I was being too negative. Now, I understand. I'm the same way as well. But, but now that we've talked, I feel one, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this will make us cling to hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. You want to go get jacked, brother? All right, I'm heading to the restaurant now. You want over here? No? Oh, we leveled up, though. What is leveling up for again? Something to do with skills, right? But we don't really we don't have any of those. Right? What about our uh our thingy? How how are you doing? Get cleaned. Look at it. Oh, look at him. Okay. Looks like there's still a few people lingering around outside. Ooh, can we catch the butterfly? No? All right. I don't want to go with them just yet. Uh, hello. I don't trust you one freaking bit. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> well, what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <laughs> My first time greeting someone and I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it one more time? A good morning? Good, good morning? <laughs> what kind of life has she had? Still don't trust you. Jeez! I'm so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish, it's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. I, uh, the, the buttons, they do nothing. I don't know, I kind of like kicked my wire, my the wire from my controller. Maybe that knocked it out? Um, there it goes. I don't know why that happened. Uh, but if we need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with it? E eating it together? Aww. Well, I like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room, and that's already fine. Um. Also, devouring the flesh of my enemies. Eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Well, I mean, she's like eight, you know? She's got plenty of time to eat healthy. Hey. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without permission. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. Jeez, listening to this ugly bitch's crying in the morning makes me so sick. Yoko, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. Hey. Uh, good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. What's with the sullen face? And also, why do you reek? You haven't showered. You've been standing around in the hot sun all day. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I couldn't really sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind, and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. And just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Got it. 
Ah, just so you know, it's going to be girls only gathering, so I don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I'm going ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. All right, fine. I guess we could take that. I think those stairs take us straight to the restaurant. So maybe we should do that in the future. Well, actually, there's some people in here, so we'll talk to them. Meow. I'm not even going to dignify this uh, line with reading it. What? I thought of a greeting from we all or eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. <laughs> this is definitely a new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Meow. <laughs> so I'm going to go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, it'll still be limited to this island. I just want to hear Biakia say good nom nom morning. That's all I want in life. Good morning, uh... Chiake? Something like that? Say your name for me. Hey. Good morning. What was that pause for? Well? I'm in the middle of doing some combo strings. I couldn't really reply. Oh, she's juggling someone. She's the Lord of Tekken. Doing what? Hmm. I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. Did I interrupt something she was doing? Let's see, is the gang all here? Um, the gang is in fact not all here. Several people were already at the restaurant. Where's Biakia? I figured he would be here early. Um, but nobody was talking, not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Yeah, there he is. Are we missing anyone? I, made you wait. I don't think so. Huh? It seems Fuyahiko's not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <laughs> Dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why did he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Could he be... Is he thinking of a plan to kill someone by himself? That's possible, but that would make him very sus. So... Kazuchi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, he's Yaka, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk amongst ourselves, and someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? <laughs> a, a party? That's right. That's right. A huge party will last from sundown to sunrise, and everyone will bring me food. What? Party till the sun comes up. This is your leader's. Just so we're clear, I would not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Um, hold on. I agree with Biakia. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, out of this, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we strengthen our friendships with one another. He's got a point, actually. <laughs> That's what you thought, too, right? That's why you want to throw a party? Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But... Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. Don't interfere with my evil schemes. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all the from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard. <whistles> ah, in that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Beach, 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 beach. Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. Place even Monokuma can answer. What we need is an enclosed space. Um, an enclosed space? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. It's not nearly enclosed enough. Um, Nor will the cottages. There's so many people, we'd all be pressed up against each other. Um, and I mean, come on, have you smelled how Hajime smells? Who even wants to be near him? But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop drooling. Pressing up against the ladies without sneaking aboard the woman-only train and drag, I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are saying your perverted thoughts out loud. He's the definition of horny on main. 
I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. I mean, he kind of has a point. I don't dislike him. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then how about that old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That run down place that's You're definitely right. haunted. But if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However. Hmm, however, Manomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. Well, she's got no power here. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. Ding, 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 ding. I have heard your conversation, heard it all with my very own ears. <laughs> I have good ears because I'm a rabbit. See, I was going to make a joke about rabbit ears, but she beat me to it. I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Uh? Huh? Hmm. Then what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they from Monokuma's eyes only? <laughs> She's got mushrooms. Hello. She looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it. In that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. Together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Understand? Do yourself a favor and stay away from Mira. She'll be grossed up by what you see. <laughs> I mean, the diaper is kind of creepy. Your kind words make me want to cry. Um, so we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Wow. I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before and I'm excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. I don't want to do it either. Sheesh. What, nobody's going to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Actually. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. You, you just carry those around with you all the time? Okay. To go through the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the trap stick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Oh, no. Hajime. Maybe you're the ultimate lucky student, just like someone else. Does that sound fair? Because I have a feeling we're going to be the red chopstick. Actually, whoever, you know, here's here's what happens. Whoever gets the red chopstick, murdered. Definitely, 100%. Hopefully it's not us. Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. All right. Well, uh, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... What? Oh. Totally not, Makoto. It was nice knowing you. Unfortunately, your time has come. Someone is going to murder you. We're going to walk in there to go to the party, all excited like. Your body's going to be, like, strung up into, like, a crucifixion pose or something. And then the killing game will have begun. That's my prediction. For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Well... Uh, I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You look you make a good stay-at-home dad. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. Uh, babies can handle weed smoke, right? I'll handle the cooking. All right, first they need to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. My Terry Terra Hatamura will go all out. I will yield the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then... Uh, then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyahika. Hmm, let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. You get some free time, maybe? There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space in my room. Well, since I have some free time, it'd better be if I w it'd be better if I went and talk to everyone. Hmm. I'm trying to think, who might be a good, good free time candidate? Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about Yakuza, dude. For for a couple reasons. One, I feel like he has a good potential for like a like a character arc, which means that he might stay alive. Because like that's the, that's what, that's definitely something you have to consider. Is you don't want to if you think someone's gonna die, you don't want to hang out with them. You don't waste your time learning about a character that you can't finish. But like, I think Yakuza Kid, I have a feeling he might be around for at least a decent amount of time. I feel like, you know, he's got, like, good potential for that, that Byakuya character arc. 
Uh, is there someone here? Oh. And I don't really want to hang out with you, but I'll talk to you. Boys are so stupid when they butt heads or try and show off. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, see who else is around. I hit the B button. I guess that's actually the, the fast forward. Hmm. So where where is old uh, buddy pal? Granted, we don't have any presents for him. I think he likes baguettes. Why don't we buy all food? Um, I'm thinking. Not report card. Map. What does he even look like? Yeah, he's he's the little bald guy. Mom, am, am I blonde? Um, he's not really bald, but okay, maybe you can't because he is definitely. I'm not seeing him. Unless he's maybe... Unless he's like around here, he doesn't show up on the map. No? Well... Let's, say, let's do one more look, just to make sure. Yeah, because it shows them as being here. There's nobody at Jabberwock Park. It doesn't show any... I guess? Is he, like, already dead? I'm, I'm a little confused. Um, well... I don't know. How's it going, sword lady? Honestly. Monokuma is obviously lying so he can confuse us. He's trying to make us suspicious of each other. There's no reason for us to fall for it. Uh... I, sure. You're right here. Anyway. If we're to resist Monokuma's lies, it's imperative that we train our mental defenses. You also seem like you can live for a decent amount of time, so... I spent today's uh, time today meditating with Pico and honing our mental defenses. I mean, it is definitely pretty sus that we can't find Kuzuru. Now, that could just be that I'm, I'm bad at navigating the menu, or my man is mega dead. Now, what all do we got? Anti-energy drink that'll make you feel relaxed. I think she likes baguettes. Everybody likes baguettes. Well, let's try the let's try the energy drink. Uh, I guess I shall receive this for now. I mean, it wasn't a bad noise, so it's maybe like neutral or slightly good. Can I bring myself to lower your reputation by wholeheartedly refusing it? All right. Um, maybe it's not that good after all. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really like talking about anything. Hey, Pico, do you uh like? Kendo? Yes. Wow. <laughs> what an amazing conversation. Hey, lady with a sword in your back, do you like to... you like swords? For, for chance? Just taking a wild guess here. This conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of. However. Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just, you know, wondering. Pico's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Uh, let's see. A topic that probably won't offend her too much. Oh, what about that black thong we heard about? <laughs> what level are you? Could it be? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? People Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. See, we're just trying to make it so that we're one who needs to be protected. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in the truest sense is my aim. And so... That is my reason for existing. Uh-huh. Uh, whatever you say, lady. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pico isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordsman. Or swordswoman. Uh, how could I ask such a foolish question about levels? Oh, so stupid. I don't really know much about Kendo. But I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool. You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Really? I don't I don't buy that. Um, well, thank... Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there, there are things that I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What'd you lose? 
fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. <laughs> there are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart content. I see. That's, uh, really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Well, I mean, this is more interesting anyway. Oh, then, uh, what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? Oh, yeah, she did like his, uh, hamsters. I forgot about that. He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the Four Dark Davis of Destruction, they might not get scared of me and run away. I don't like that face one bit. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Hiko walked off in a hurry. She must really be desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pico. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Okay, we got a got a hopes fragment. Wasn't there something about talking to Usami with those? But I don't know where she is. You should also look for uh, hidden Monokumas. Now we still have another another time, no more free time. Um, what am I doing here? You still don't want to take a shower, Hajime? Come on, dude. You're embarrassing us. Can we, like, teleport to you? That'd be a night. Wait, 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 what? Dislikes milk. Oh, you can see what food... Well, you can see what stuff they like. Likes mama? What? Dislikes junk food? Makes sense. Sugar-free anything. Likes coke? Makes sense. Likes the four dark davas of destruction. Earthly life. Um, whatever you say. Likes coffee. Dislikes commoners. Likes pretty things. Dislikes noisy places. Uh, I think those are food, but I don't know. Got max influence. Oh, that's like your HP and stuff for the flash trials. Likes black. Dislikes candy. All right. Good to know. Walking, napping, gaming, boredom. Bathroom smells. Oh, well, she doesn't like Hajime. Alcohol, oversized things. Traveling alone, bed manners. Squishy, squishy, lectures, and sour stuff. Occult, Japan, sour plums. Kind of a pretty specific there. Games, even crappy games. <laughs> Uh, she treats life like a video game, which is why she won't allow any killing. She told me games are supposed to be fun, and that focusing on winning and then losing is pointless. Fighting meat. <laughs> Fried dough cookies. All right, we'll remember that. Assuming you're not, like, murdered. I'm a little worried. I mean, it would be kind of funny if I'm like, oh, he's got, like, a good uh, position to stay alive for a long time, and then he instantly dies. That would be uh, pretty fitting, if you ask me. Okay, this man is super dead. Like, unbelievably dead. Hmm. I don't know, now I'm trying to think, like, should we keep diversifying, or should we try and focus in on some, some, some characters? Interesting question. Like, are any other characters missing? Because I don't see I don't see Makoto either showing up. Or totally not Makoto. Like is there maybe I'm missing an area? Like, can I where is the abandoned building? Where's where's that at? Like are they are they chilling over there? I guess because he's over there over there. I don't actually know where it's supposed to be. Is it this? Is this what we were talking about? Hello there. Ah, oh, sorry you came all this way. I have to ask you to leave. I'm so busy cleaning right now. Bye now. I'll definitely finish for the party, so I'll see you tonight. All right. Well, don't die. I would. I wouldn't mind doing your socialing eventually. 
But I guess we're just gonna talk to Biakia so we can start uh making progress. One second. Alright, and back and decided to respond to something really quick. Let's uh let's go to the let's go to the market where the old Biakers is at. Who's this? No. B Yakers. We already found one hidden Monokuma around here, so there's probably not another. But we do need to be on the lookout for him. Actually, do we even have any presents? We have potato chips? Come on. You know you love potato chips. Don't deny it, Yakia. Don't put on a front. Despite the fact that they were prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Tetsuru's dishes as well. Does the ultimate cook skill to pass that of Togami Corporation chef? Did I invite him? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Ah, so you're interested in the dishes prepared by my company's personal chef. Let me tell you about them. I was forced to listen to Byakuya speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him today. Would you like to give him a present? Absolutely. I think the only thing we have left are the potato chips. Well, there's the baguette. Take it. Hmm. You have quite a rare item there. Even a noble such as myself has never touched something like this. Interested. I'll keep I'll be keeping this. The chicken in my hands is far tastier than the beef inside the freezer. Huh? It's a German proverb. It means something inferior that's nearby is better than something that's good far away. Yeah, I mean I'm from isn't there like another saying that means the exact same thing? That's uh slightly different. I mean, there's, there's, you know, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. And isn't there, like, another one that's kind of like that? Hmm. But why would chicken be inferior to beef? Aren't there times when you'd obviously want to eat fried chicken instead of steak? I mean, he do have a point. That's true, but what are we even talking about? I mean, is that even a real German proverb? What are you thinking? And furthermore, why is pork not even mentioned in this comparison? Is pig meat unattractive to Germans? Why? No, that's impossible. When you think of Germany, you think of sausage, and if you think of sausage, you're thinking of pig meat. That's... But what does this mean? What is this conspiracy? What in the world is he so worked up about? Hajime. Do you know which meat is the, the most efficient source of energy? Listen. Which meat contains the most vitamin B1 for converting glucose to energy? Yaki is so serious it's scary to me. I have no idea. Ch chick B? Uh, I have no clue. Chicken. Is it chicken meat? I see. Chicken, huh? It's a splendid exceptional meat that's low in calories and lowers your cholesterol. He's really absorbed into talking about it but now, but it looks like that was wrong. Uh then I have how about ever ever heard of pork? Is it pork? <laughs> huh, correct. The same amount of pork has ten times the energy efficiency of other meats. Listen. Do you understand? Ten times! I get it already. What's your point anyway? Such ignorance. There's only one thing I want to say to you. How'd you make become my assistant? Huh? Listen. The situation surrounding us in this island is even more complicated than I thought. Even if it's just a commoner's assistant, it shall be better than having nobody at all. Uh, but I don't remember that much about myself. We don't even know if I have a talent that would be useful to you, you know? Memory. Who cares about that? Huh? So, in other words... Even if you don't have your memories, you're still you, right? You're able to live your own life? That is already enough. All you have to do is be yourself. Hmm. As you stand before me, I will believe in your potential. Yakia? Also, what use is the past? <laughs> I, too, was powerless in the past, but I'm different now. Go away your past self. It's meaningless. Powerless? What's he talking about? Was Yakia really powerless in the past? Hmm. Anyway, think about my offer. More importantly, Hajime. Listen. Do you like chicken or beef? For some reason, I still ended up discussing meat with Byakuya until I had heartburn. Anyway, what happened to Byakuya in the past? Oh, Interesting. I parted ways with Byakuya and decided to return to my cottage. Should be nighttime. Yep. We got four free time events in the first. I mean, that's probably the end of them. I would assume some some shit's about to start going down. 
I'm a little worried about Kuzuru. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. I do, like, I still really think we're going to walk into the building and someone's going to be, like, strung up in there. But hopefully it's not totally not Makoto. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Nah, dude, we got a freaking party, yo. Good night, he says. Whatever, I got a party to attend. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Guess we'll go walk over there. See what we can find. You want to shower up before you go meet people, Hajime? No? All right. You do you, dude. You do you. Anyone over here? No? Yeah, the turning's still, like, really slow. It was like that in the first game, too. Oh my my! Are you here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Terra Terra's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. The thing you don't know is that he only prepares human meat. Oh, you can kind of kind of strafe a little bit. That makes it slightly quicker. I let Fuyuhiko know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Probably because he's dead. <laughs> it's about time for the party. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, I'll do my best to not be in the way, so it's fine if I s stay here, right? Are you really worrying about something like that? Uh... Don't, just don't kill anyone, okay? That's the That's our pact. Or at the very least, if you do kill someone, make sure it's not me. So, this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. <laughs> You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. I don't have to do that. I need to grope you. Because hmm. I need to do a body check. A body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. I get it. So I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Yaka went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working his way up. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous, except for that stink. Uh, of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Yakia was standing. Metal cases? What? Dura aluminum, dura, dura, dura aluminum, dura aluminum. Actually, I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for human meat. Let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakuya turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but. So cautious, I didn't expect him to perform a body check, and what does he mean by emergencies only? It's just filled to the brim with uh potato chips. I mean, can we go back here? No. Any uh any monokumas around here? You, you, are you a monokuma at all? No. Anything in the toilet? Here's to be unisex. I don't need to go now. I should my man doesn't believe in showering and he won't use the bathroom. Truly a, truly a specimen. Oh, oh there's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Bianca will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should have head over there as well. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy boy. I see. So this is what the inside looks like. There are so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is that because it's so old? I must tread carefully so my feet do not stumble. My adventure's heart is pounding with excitement. I guess in your apprentice, even little things seem exciting. I don't surprise the lettuce in here. Anything, anything of interest? There's some irons. These are irons. Are they used to repair the tablecloth? If so, why do you need three? Get out over to the dining hall. Whatever. This is a laundry hamper. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking. You know. What even is... What the hell is this? I guess we'll go. We'll go to the party and then probably end things in a little, little bit after that. Because... I do need to, uh... Stop here soon. I gotta... Still gotta do the actual, like, the part two goes up in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So I still need to make the thumbnail and create the title and all that other jazz. <laughs> ah, Hajime, how do you like it? Okay, so nobody died. Well, nobody strung up at least. What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. <laughs> I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I can handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Uh, our buddy Gundam, what's up? Good instincts. Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are most impressive indeed. Nevertheless, his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. We need to talk to Gundam, dude. Hmm. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all the trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See? Check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of the deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? Someone's gonna pop out and attack us. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikon to be careful. Yeah, she is the tribe's trip over nothing. Oh. Uh, I was trying to talk to Chickadee. There we go. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So We gotta do something about it. You're right, we should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. We're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. Gross. That creep Biakio rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys too. <laughs> I mean, it could still be sexual harassment. So I, I feel like he was getting frisky while I was frisking me. Eh? <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know. Stop. Bonk. Go to horny jail. You're just kidding. Unfortunately, I don't think she is. <laughs> also, bonk. Go to horny jail. Hey, uh, what's up? It's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Ah. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting grubbed so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? Annoying. Have you never had like a physical before? Plus he got super pissed and started yelling at me when I noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how friggin' annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just so happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But Byakuya put it in that dura dura that case of his. Aw man. Oh. What am I have we have we not talked to everyone? Nice, there's an air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we can turn it on. Wait, do we need to talk to Makoto again? I can't remember. Did we talk to you? <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, lots of fancy looking party dishes on the table towards the front. Iron plates. That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? Oh. All is not what it appears to be. Huh? Stay back. One of my four Davis Supernova Silver Fox Sand D has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. I heard that the peasants needed to look into the multiverse. Window? Let me tell you. There are no this. windows in this dining hall at all. I assume these iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Hmm, Sandy, it appears your fur is rusting more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lies gasp their first breath and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know? 
Well, this building is in the middle of renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but I'm pretty sure it was a creepy atmosphere because of it. All right. Ultimate affluent protagonist. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good place to stop. In the next video, we'll uh, continue the party and hope that uh, nobody's been murdered. Even though um, things are not looking good for Kuzuru. That, that's how I feel. Him being MIA for the two free times without a real excuse. Big sus energy. Okay, so there's a... Yeah, I was told there was a, a quick shortcut to the transcript. That's nice. I remember warning that in the first game. I don't know if it was there or if I just didn't know what the button was. But yeah, that, that, that's nice to have. I'm extra cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.